Hello and welcome everyone. This is Robert here. Got a Techie 311 vlog to give you guys today from the previous week and what's upcoming soon. So I want to go ahead and uh, give you guys what happened this past week or previous weeks. So to start off, the first news is the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 is finally done. It's no longer being sold, it's being taken off the store shelves and they're no longer selling it on the website and nobody can obtain one so no one can uh, if you have one you need to return it get a refund and so forth and most of those people that are getting refunds are actually going for iPhone 7 so iPhone 7 sales are actually gonna go up that's the first thing uh, next thing is that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are now being compared to the new Google Pixel and Pixel XL phones those are the two new phones that Google came out with that are supposed to sort of uh, give the Google Assistant and Google Apps sort of a, a sort of like a hub instead of being just separate apps you can use on Android and iOS the Google Pixel is sort of like your own phone with all the Google Apps installed already and also with Google Assistant so that's that's being compared now and actually the iPhone 7 is doing better than the Google Pixel so I don't know if really Google Pixel is worth it or not Next on the news that we've got in here, the iPhone 7 Plus's camera, the dual camera, is now being compared to a DSLR camera. And DSLR, those are the, the high quality cameras that most vloggers use, and those run usually between $1,000 to $5,000, $6,000. So your simple $1,000 phone, if you have an iPhone 7 Plus, depending on the gigabytes, is now going to be pretty much as close to a DSLR camera or better than a DSLR camera. So that's kind of what the comparison was showing. Uh, beyond that, we have uh, rumors that Apple's going to come up with their own sort of like keyboard, whether it be like a lit keyboard or whether it be something else, you know, Touch ID, those kind of things. We have a rumor of that coming out. Now, whether Apple will an announce this in their next event, that is left up to see. We also have the uh, news about the, the Apple self-driving car that's finally dead now, it's not being, um, they're not even doing prototypes with it, they're not doing anything with it, so Apple's sort of holding off on their on their Apple car at this point. So that that's pretty much not something we're going to see in the next few years. We also have in here that Apple so far has released, and this is something that you'll see on my Patreon page, so if you see that link below for Patreon, be sure you guys go on there and become a patron because uh, Apple has so far released five developer betas, four public betas so far for the new iOS 10.1. iOS 10.1 is mainly focused on the iPhone 7 Plus on the camera for the new portrait mode, but it will include a lot of iOS 10 bug fixes and improvements. So if you have a phone that's not a 7 or 7 Plus, you're going to get those improvements. If you have a 7 Plus, this update's going to give you the new portrait feature. And so we've had so far five developer betas on that, so we're hoping that the gold beta is finally out and we're going to get this soon, if not before or by November. So that's something that we're, we're going to wait and see. Will they be a sixth beta, will it be a seventh beta, or will they actually come out with the actual general public release? Now, they also did release iOS 10.0.3. Now, if you remember, 10.0 10 .0 came out. We had a... 10.0.1, 0 0.2, and now 0.3. Now 0.3 is sort of a fix for Verizon customers. They were apparently losing cellular connection. And according to Apple, this was trickling over to AT&T, T-Mobile, and so forth. So Apple threw out of this software, iOS 10.0.3, which did fix a few little minor things, but mainly it was to fix the connectivity issue with the cellular network for Verizon. That was its main cause. So beyond that, we don't know if there'll be a 10.0.4 before 10.1, but right now, we'll just wait and see what happens. On a final note, Apple has finally announced that uh, Thursday, October 27th, will be their next keynote event. Now, this keynote event is real close to the holiday season. So what they're going to do with this one is they're going to bring in the new iPads, uh, preferably no physical home button. You're going to have the same features that you have in the iPhone 7, so it'll probably be a dual camera. Um, you're looking at basically... You know, newer uh, sizes probably, newer colors, you know, stuff, stuff to match what the iPhone 7 is. The Max is going to be the big deal of this keynote, though. The Max haven't had a refresh in a very long time. So you're, you know, you're looking at more US, USB-C ports, 
you're looking at more touch ID features you know more features like that and it'll all be compatible with the Mac OS Sierra so October 27th that's when they're gonna hold the keynote it'll be 10 a.m. California time so make sure you you tune into my channel tune into my patreon channel and then I'll give you guys more info on that as it comes around well that's pretty much it guys that's what happened this past previous weeks and that's what's upcoming right now with Apple's new event so I want to give you guys that if you haven't subscribed be sure you subscribe if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you're not a patron hey become one remember being a patreon on my patreon page is going to be better than being a YouTube subscriber because YouTube is not really helping their creators out much you want to be a fan of this channel go to my patreon page I got the link below become a fan you're going to get a lot of perks and a lot of rewards I thank you guys for watching here and I will catch you guys later on on this channel and on patreon have a good day